All right, so let's begin. There are a plethora of funds available in the market to invest your hard-earned money in. But how do you assess uh, which is the right fund for your portfolio and your financial goal? And not only a mutual fund, what should be the right financial strategy, be it for any financial goal? Uh, to help you navigate through all of these questions today, uh, I have with me uh, Himmel Tushtigi from uh, Wise Invest to help you and sort your uh, questions out. And before we begin, uh, let me also flash our WhatsApp number and email. ID where uh, you can note down these uh, uh, coordinates and uh, send across your financial portfolio query. All right, let's begin. Uh, the first viewer online with me is uh, N Lakshmi. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Uh, so you're calling from Hyderabad. Hyderabad. Thank you so much for sending us your question, sir. And you want to invest 5,000 in Nifty 100 ETF uh, through a monthly SIP uh, for your grandson. And uh, uh, you're confused between HDFC Nifty 100 ETF and SBI Nifty 100 ETF, right? Yeah. Sure. Uh, Heyman, how can you help him? Well, I think definitely if the money is to be invested for a longer period and if the intent is to invest in an index fund, this uh, Nifty 100 ETF is, is definitely a good option. But since uh, he has to kind of choose between these two, uh, there is HDFC Nifty 100 and the SBI. Uh, my information, I think SBI is offering BSC 100 uh, uh, ETF, uh, not Nifty. Uh, if he is looking for another uh, Nifty 100 ETF, then he can look at uh, Nippon India, uh, Nifty 100 ETF. Uh, out of these two, HDFC and, uh, and Nippon, I think Nippon can be uh, a better bet. So, if the intent is to invest in Nifty 100 ETF, then uh, Nippon India 100 ETF will be a good option. But in my view, since uh, while this can be a good option definitely, but if the intent is to invest for 10, 15 years and if this is going to be the only investment, you know, my belief is that an actively managed uh, multi-cap fund uh, can be a pretty good option because one, uh, you get exposure to all the three segments of the market and that too in a very disciplined manner. And uh, what we have seen and I think what I expect is to be investing for such a longer period, having all the three segments. Uh, it, it not only kind of in a disciplined manner, not only reduces the risk, but also enhances the chances of getting better returns. So maybe like uh, a Kotak multi-cap fund can be, can be looked at. Uh, so I, or, or maybe HFC multi-cap, one of these funds. But I definitely feel that uh, an actively managed fund can be a better option. But if, if the intent is again to have even index fund, maybe then a mix of these two uh, can also be considered. Okay. So... Uh, that's the recommendation for you, Mr. Lakshmi, and uh, uh, you can consider Kotak multi-cap or HDFC multi-cap as well. All right, let's move on and let's take Mr. Vishwanath uh, V's question. And do we have him on the phone line? Mr. Vishwanath? Okay, I think this question is uh, over an email. And he says that uh, he is an NRI and uh, has a serious doubt regarding REITs versus mutual funds. And uh, he's planning a monthly income after retirement. And after some calculations, he's figured out that for uh, 1 lakh monthly income from REITs, he needs to invest approximately 1.5 CR. Uh, the advantage over here that he sees is no capital loss in the investment because it's going through a uh, stock market. So he wants to know if it's worth it or he should be having a separate portfolio in equity mutual funds and then over there by SWP he can have his monthly income. Uh, and if at all REITs is a better option for him, then he wants you to recommend what kind of REITs should he be going for. So very interesting question and again a very important financial goal which is retirement. And, uh, 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 Heyman, so what about having a mix of REITs and equity mutual funds for your retirement income generation? Uh, yes, Kavita, I think uh, you said it right. One very interesting question and second is obviously this goal of generating income after retirement is very, very important. I think many retirees struggle in terms of what should be the best option, where the returns can be tax efficient and also uh, look at investment which can give them an opportunity to also make the money grow. So definitely uh, REIT uh, can be an interesting option, especially if someone is looking at an option for generating regular income uh, and also looking for diversification. So REIT can be uh, definitely a part of the portfolio. But my belief is that REIT cannot be a part, can be the core of your portfolio. So I believe that, like you rightly mentioned further, that the mix of REIT and SWP I think will be an ideal option. Uh, what happens in the SWP is that 
if you choose your funds well and if you draw a reasonable sum, uh, you not only get a regular income in a very tax efficient manner, but also it gives you an opportunity to make your money grow. Of course, the growth can happen even in REIT. But like I said, uh, from the diversification point of view, investing in a real estate linked REIT and of course in, in, in the stock market, either through a uh, you know, hybrid fund or equity fund can be, can be a great option. So if uh, you're looking for option in the REITs, maybe a couple of options I can give. Uh, one is Embassy of uh, Office REIT and then other one is Brookfield India uh, REIT. Uh, these are two prominent REITs in India. You can consider one of those. Uh, what happens there is most of these uh, REITs basically the dividend that you get because the, the STVs are not opted for uh, concessional tax rate which means that they are paying tax so the, ta the dividend can become uh, tax free for you and of course uh, depending on at what level you sell in the secondary market if at all you exit from there the taxation is different uh, but I believe that a combination of REIT and SWB uh, will be an ideal for you. Uh, I think that's what you should be looking at. Right. Perfect. Let's move on and I have Mr. Harsh Jain on the phone line with me. Hi Harsh, good evening. You're calling from Mumbai? Yeah, good evening ma'am. Yes, I'm calling from Mumbai. How are you doing today? You're, I hope you're home and safe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, heavy rainfall. Yes, exactly. I'm at home right now. Yeah. Good, good to know. Tell me. Uh, so ma'am, I, uh, I have two questions. Uh, hmm. Basically the first question is, I want to review my portfolio. Hmm. Uh, second thing is I want to do a lump sum amount of 5 lakh rupees. Hmm. So I just wanted to know whether I want to in, uh, should invest in my existing funds sure. or should I start with a new fund. Also, uh, I have gone through uh, uh, several videos where currently thematic funds are uh, go, uh, like giving some better returns. Yeah. So should I add some of the uh, thematic funds to my portfolio? apart from my core portfolio and if yes then which would one uh, should I select? Mm -hmm. Sure, okay. So uh, as far as your current portfolio is concerned or current uh, uh, investment is concerned, let me just confirm the names. You have Parag Parik Flexi Cap, HDFC Index Insects Plan. You have Nippon India Small Cap, Tata Small Cap and Kotak Emerging Equity in your portfolio. Is that right? Right. Okay. A total SIP of 33,000. Yeah, perfect. And uh, this you want to uh, carry on investing till 15 years. Right. Okay. 5 lakh lump sum will be for how many years? 15 years. Okay, the same time duration. All right. And yeah. the sectoral addition also will be for the same uh, time horizon. Yes, 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 absolutely. Okay, so 2 CR retirement uh, uh, is the goal and you are investing for that purpose itself and you're also right. open uh, for a thematic uh, or a sectoral theme in your fund. Uh, how much will be the additional amount which you might want to invest or uh, step up your SIP with? So uh, I'm stepping up my SIP with 10% every year. So this Good. is my second year. Good. So Good. last year it was 30,000. I have increased to 33,000 from this year. Mm -hmm. And so 10% every year I will be doing a increment of my SIP. Mm -hmm. So All right. This would be Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's uh, frame a strategy for you. Uh, so Himan, first uh, uh, the existing funds in the portfolio and then the 5 lakh lump sum, should he be dividing that money in these existing funds or you want him to add a fund? He also wants a thematic suggestion from you. Well, coming back a couple of interesting questions here. If I were to look at his uh, portfolio, I think the portfolio makes his right. Uh, there are 5 funds in the portfolio. Even though there are two small cap funds, usually I recommend that maybe you know one small cap fund is good enough. But uh, you know both are good. He can continue if he wants because since he also looking to invest uh, five lakh rupees uh, as, as a lump sum, you know in my view he can invest in the existing funds. Uh, only thing is he needs to be a little careful in terms of how much he's allocating to mid cap and, and uh, uh, small cap. Uh, so Nippon India small cap does not take lump sum money, but I think uh, Tata small cap does. So he can consider that for, for investment. The rest can be distributed in, in the remaining funds. So no changes in the portfolio. Uh, all the funds are good, can continue with them. Uh, let me now come to the target. Uh, the target is 2 crore. You know, uh, if I assume annualized return of 12%, but it's 33,000 SIP, and this 5 lakh lump sum, if he continues for that, he should be able to achieve his target, but since he's also committed to, you know, step up his SIP by 10%, uh, 
so my my belief is that you know if he continues this process for the next 15 years, he should be able to get the double the corpus of what he can get without a stepping of the SIP. So I think he is doing great in terms of strategy. He is doing, he is doing very well in terms of uh, fund selection. He should uh, continue investing. Let me come to the issue of whether the thematic fund should be there or not. Yes, uh, thematic fund, sector fund can be a great addition to the portfolio, uh, but not for every investor. My belief is that if you are an experienced investor, you have built a reasonably large portfolio and your risk profile allows you that while you are looking at higher uh, return, then you are okay, uh, you can face the higher volatility also. Then at that stage you can definitely include those, but of course, uh, you need to be very careful in terms of how much exposure you have. Usually, as a thumb rule, maybe 10 to 15 percent can be invested in that. But I, my belief is that for him at this stage, I don't think it will be it will be a great idea because he just started investing. Let him become more comfortable with equity as an asset class. Let him build a reasonable a reasonable size of the portfolio, and then maybe start looking at uh, uh, sector and thematic fund. Uh, not not at this stage. But otherwise, like I can mention, I think he's doing he's doing all right. He should just continue with discipline over the next 15 years. Uh, I think, he, like I mentioned, uh, he should be able to achieve his target. Maybe much more if he continues to step up his SIP every year. All right. Uh, very well explained. Uh, Harsh, is there anything else you want to ask Heyman, sir? Uh, uh, Heyman, sir, just one thing. The pilot group is, as you told me, to invest in my existing funds. So, should I uh, invest in a Steiger matter or a, a lump sum of like 1 lakh rupees each fund? No, I think, I think it's a great question again, sir. So let me tell you that usually if you would ask me about, you know, standalone saying that, okay, this is a pile like I want to invest for the first time or that's a, a one-off investment, I would have said a combination of, uh, you know, lump sum and STP. But in your case, you know, you're investing 33,000 per month, right? So you're almost investing 4 lakh rupees in a year systematically. So even if you invest as lump sum, your SIP will allow you to, you know, average it in case there is a volatility. So I think you can go ahead and invest in Lamson. All the best, Harsh, for the investment portfolio and hope that uh, helps you achieve all your financial goals as well. On this note, Thanks. let's take a quick break and uh, post that uh, our viewers are connected and uh, they will be asking their financial portfolio queries. So just in case you're watching the show live and want to send across your questions, you can WhatsApp us your query on 865-797-4571. You can also email us your question on the money show at ecnow.tv. See you after this quick break. Welcome back. You're watching The Money Show with me, Kavita Thaplial, and uh, we are answering your portfolio queries live. And with me is uh, Hewan Tustigi. Uh, let's uh, take Utej Rao's question. Uh, he's live with us on the phone line. Utej, hi, good evening. You're calling from? Yes, hi, Kavita. Good evening. Hi. Okay, so uh, you want to invest 30 lakhs in mutual funds, is that right? Yeah, actually I want to invest 30 lakh in mutual funds, so I'm planning to invest 50 lakhs in multi-cap and uh, mid-cap funds, and my investment horizon is 3 to 5 years, so is it right in time to invest or uh, can you please suggest? Sure. Um, so you figured out uh, Nippon India multi-cap and quant uh, mid-cap funds for yourself, right? Yes, that's correct. Time yeah. horizon is only 3 to 4 years? Uh, 3 to 5 years. 3 to 5 years, okay. Okay, um, and this is only for 15 lakhs or uh, entire 30 lakhs you want to invest in these two funds or you want suggestion to invest in yeah, these 15 two funds? 15 lakhs in each. 15 right? lakhs each, okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Okay, so let's get this answered. Uh, Himan, do you think these categories would be too aggressive for a time frame of 3 to 5 years and can we have more than two funds to stagger it? Uh, the 30 lakhs amount in four funds, at least four to five funds, is that possible? Yes, yes, sir. I think there are a couple of things he needs to consider here. Mm. One is he should mention about uh, you know his time horizon from three to five years. Now, obviously, some amount of clarity uh, of being very sure about exactly what the time horizon is can help. Uh, because the issue is that uh, from three to five years, when investing in an equity fund, it can make a huge difference. Uh, so if I assume that, let's say, you know, he may be able to keep it only for three to four years. So while, uh, you know, he may feel that there is sufficient time to invest in equity fund, but my belief is that that's not long enough time for him to take the risk of going into a pure equity fund or investing the entire amount in equity fund. Although I would say that the fund that he has chosen are good quality funds, 
usually uh, you can have those funds in your equity long term portfolio but here the issue is the time horizon so my belief is that one he should be looking at a combination of hybrid fund and equity fund so maybe three funds for 10 lakh each one is a balanced advantage fund one could be equity aggressive hybrid fund and one could be in, in large and mid cap category uh, basically uh, which means that you are investing primarily in the top 250 companies in terms of market cap uh, when you are investing in an equity fund so it could be icsc balanced advantage fund where you can invest 10 lakhs kotak equity hybrid which is aggressive equity hybrid category where 65 70% is invested in equity and the rest in debt where again 10 lakh can be invested and then hcfc large and mid cap where a minimum of 35% would be invested in large and mid cap and the remaining 30% at the discretion of the fund manager where again 10 lakh can be invested so i think a combination of these three now the issue is how should the money be invested should it be invested in one go or maybe in a second manner again uh, because it's a lump sum one off investment my advice would be that it should be a combination of a lump sum and in a staggered manner so maybe 30 40 percent can be invested as a lump sum and the remaining over the next few months systematically through stp uh, so you know if, if there is a uh, you know volatility around the budget or after the budget or for some other reason i think there will be an opportunity for the investment to be made at the lower level uh, so a combination of like i said lump sum and stp and three funds the mix of equity hybrid uh, and equity fund i think that that would be ideal for me. all right uh, uh okay so sir and yes you want to ask uh, himant i say say for balance advantage kotak equity hybrid and hdfc large and mid cap is what is recommended yeah you sure thank you all the best let's move on and uh, i think we have vijay from hyderabad in the phone line with us hi vijay good evening how are you doing today vijay hi can you hear me yes i can hi, hi good evening thank you so much for sending us your question uh All right. So you've been doing SIP of twenty five thousand, and uh, since last one year, you've got UTI Nifty two hundred, Momentum thirty index, UTI Nifty five hundred, Value fifty, and Quant Flexi Cap. We're at it uh, uh, again. One more ETF. Okay. And your time horizon is twenty five years for this investment. Yes, that is correct. Okay. How much uh, would you want to accumulate after twenty five years? I. I don't really have a target. I just want to say where would this get me? Mm-hmm. Um, and it's twenty-five thousand each. It, it's not twenty-five split across the plant. Yeah. Also, uh, any specific reason why you have only? Uh, I mean, you have you you have flexi cap. That's one active. But otherwise, you have more passive funds. Any specific reason behind that, Vijay? Okay, I don't think we have on the phone line. But then let's begin his financial planning. Um, uh, I really wanted to know what's the reason for having all these index and passive investment uh, in his portfolio. But then we don't have him now on the phone line. It seems. Okay, so what would you suggest him, Himant? So there are a couple of important things here. One, I think the current investment is uh, one lakh rupees, and he wants to increase it by twenty thousand per month. Uh, and if he continues that process for the next twenty-five years, roughly, I think the corpus would be around forty crores, assuming. Analyze return of twelve uh, percent, uh, so that's that's a great advantage when we talk about starting early, giving your money the time to grow. Twenty uh, five years, very very decent time, very long term. So I think he will reap the benefit if he continues this process in a disciplined manner. As for the composition of the portfolio, there is one active fund called Flexi Cap, and there are three, uh, you know, passive fund, and there are all three are basically momentum funds. So these are smart beta funds. So what typically happens is, in fact, there is one value of momentum fund. Now the smart beta fund can be great addition for someone who has a larger portfolio, who already has some actively managed funds, uh, because one they diversify your portfolio, they are cost effective, and of course offer tailored uh, investment strategy. But for someone like him, where you are looking at the core of your portfolio, uh, I think there is a need, in my view, uh, instead of two momentum fund which are there in the portfolio. Go for two actively managed fund, one multi cap, two such multi cap, and one uh, in a large and mid cap. It should be multi level as well, uh, large and mid. I think that will be a good combination. You can keep one value fund, uh, smart beta fund. Then there is a flexi cap fund, and there is one multi cap fund, and then there is a large mid cap. I think that combination will be much better in my view uh, compared to uh, having three smart beta funds. 
Sure. So the strategy should not be active or passive; it should be active plus passive. On that note, it's time up on the show. Thank you so much, Himan, for taking time out and helping our viewers with the financial portfolio queries today. And uh, to our viewers, I'm going to leave you with our WhatsApp number and email ID. Do send across your questions on our WhatsApp number and email ID, and we'll get an answer live on the show by our financial expert. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.